Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I will be telling y'all about all of the books that I got for Christmas this year. So we have changed the background somewhat again. I ended up rearranging everything in my room since the last time I filmed a video and this is mainly because I actually moved out of my apartment that I was in in my college town and that is just because I will not be going to school there anymore. I have decided to move back home and transfer to a university that I can commute to from my own home and I made this decision for many, many different reasons. A few of the major ones being I miss my family, I miss all my animals, I have eight, so like it's weird not to have like any except for my hamster, which is on a different bookshelf over there. <laughs> it's just strange and I just was not connecting with anyone at that school at all. So um, I decided to make the decision to move back home and attend a university that is closer to me. And also I have more job opportunities in the city that I live in right now, as opposed to the city I was living in before. So that also will help me immensely. So yes, I have ended up moving quite a lot into this room, but I still have to go up there for one more trip in a couple of days to get to all of the rest of my belongings. And then I will be officially moved out anyway. Y'all don't want to hear about that. You want to hear about the books that I got for Christmas. So this year for Christmas, I ended up not getting as many books as I usually do because I didn't really ask for any and I didn't really ask for anything in general. I just feel like the older you get, you don't really care about the material things, to be honest with you. I just love hanging out with my family and like decorating the Christmas tree or um, hanging out with friends for Christmas. Those are my favorite gifts of all. I actually ended up getting though three books and I will tell y'all about those right now. Also be sure to stick around towards the end of the video to hear my booktuber shout out of the day. So the first book that I got for Christmas is the only book that I got for my family and it is the best book that could have possibly have gotten me. They got me the collector's edition of Throne of Glass by Sarah J Mass. I was eyeing this in Target one day and my mom saw me eyeing it so she decided to buy it for me. It's super pretty. That big blank space you see up there, that's where it would normally go. But yeah, it comes in this box. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my god. This is the back of the book and then this is the front. It's beautiful. The spine is also gorgeous. Also in here you have, and now since all of her books have been out in the series, you now have every single book listed on the inside cover as opposed to the first book where it was only the first book so she didn't have any of the other ones listed. Um, but you have this cool illustration at the top of the chapters and then I believe this is the Eye of Elena that's just in the middle of a bunch of these chapters and pages. So I think that's so cool and you have little um, illustrations here. And yeah, that's just like throughout the book. I think that's so cool. And then those end pages are gold and glittery and gorgeous. And I love looking at this on my bookshelf. It is so pretty. So I'm eternally grateful that my family decided to get me this book because I love it. So the next two books are actually from my friend Alex. A bunch of us girls who went to high school together and are still best friends, we decided to put together a secret Santa because we were like, hey, we're all co broke college students. We can't really afford to get every single one of us five a gift. So let's just get one gift for everybody and let's do a secret Santa. We did like an online thing where we like submitted our wish lists and like what our interests were. And um, I just put in a few books that I would maybe like and she ended up getting both of them for me. <laughs> so the first one that my friend Alex, lovely Alex, got for me is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I've heard nothing but good things about this book, especially from my friend Vendi from Caught Between Pages and she has just raved about this book. Everyone actually has just raved about this book for so long and I've been wanting it for so long. So <laughs> Alex got it for me. I love her. I know literally nothing about this book. Except for, um, this famous woman has had seven husbands and a reporter tries to figure out why or tries to tell her life story. I'm not sure, but I have not heard anything bad about this book. So I'm really, really, really excited to get into this one, hopefully really soon. And the last book that I got for Christmas was my most anticipated book for 
the later half of the year and that is my favorite half night stand by Christina Lauren if y'all didn't know I am on a big Christina Lauren high right now I have been loving their books I have read so many of their books this year this shelf right here just has some of them over here one of their books was my favorite read of the year roomies and I'm just hoping that this is up there with them they write kind of like a rom-com inside of a book kind of thing and they are so good it has those steamy times that are really nice too just like the chemistry the two main characters have in their books are so so good and I just think they're amazing authors because also also Christina Lauren is an author duo I just think they're amazing authors because they have written so many books and like they just somehow have written characters that are so different from each other all of the time like every time you open one of their books you have not seen a character like this before in one of their other books I just think they're so intelligent and smart and creative and I literally know nothing about this book at all zero zilch nothing it is a Christina Lauren new release and that's all I know I also want to mention the other thing that Alex got me is bookish related and I needed to talk about it she got me this t-shirt can you guess what scene this is from I'm waiting it's from the princess bride this is like the completed text of the princess bride formed into a shirt and an illustration look at that it's Wesley and Buttercup I love this movie and book so much and I like started almost crying when she gave this to me I have another shirt like this with the entirety of Throne of Glass on it and so I just have like two of these now which is so cool so anyways there y'all have it those were three books that I received for Christmas this year um let me know down below what books you received for Christmas or your favorite book that you received for Christmas I would love to know so I actually am not gonna shout out a newbie today because I have not done my research for newbies I have not looked at newbie pages in quite a while um that's shame on me I've been busy moving and all that stuff but I can shout out a small booktuber today I'm actually going to shout out my friend Matt from this is me he is very 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 close to 100 subscribers and I heard his goal for the end of the year was to reach 100 so let's see if we can help him with that so yes be sure to go check out Matt's channel I will link him down below I love his videos so much he does so many different things book related but also not book related so I love watching his videos and I hope y'all do as well so be sure to go share some love with him so that is it for today's video be sure to hit that like button if you like that video be sure to subscribe if you are not already to see future content from me anyways thank you all so much for watching and I will see y'all soon with a new video bye